Before jumping in, let's review the fundamentals of time series data. Time series data contain observations of one or more units over many periods. Let's say you want to understand a city's population growth over time. You would m measure the population each year to generate a data set containing a column of years and a column of population figures. So where does the XCS package come in? XCS facilitates the manipulation of time series data in R by producing XCS objects, which consist of a matrix paired with a time index. Here you can see a standard matrix of numeric values in R. Let's pretend these are city population data. To produce an XCS object from this matrix, we simply attach a vector of dates. In this case, we'll attach years corresponding to population measures. While a regular data frame may contain a time variable, an XCS object is indexed on time, making it easier to manipulate in interesting ways. For example, if we want to add a new row of data in the middle of the time period, XCS knows to place this row between the nearest dates in the time index. In this chapter, you'll practice encoding and manipulating XCS objects by exploring Boston area flight data, including information on flight delays and cancellations. As you work through these exercises, try to think like a data scientist. What information is contained in the data, and how can you manipulate the data to better reveal this information? Okay, let's practice.